it's quite hard to talk about a character's journey because you, as an actor, you sort of just take care of each moment. So I think the director has a very clear idea of the overall vision and the concept and where these characters broadly go. But as an actor, your job really is to just take care of each beat. The first scene, she's relatively in control. It's, it's momentous that Benedict is coming back and that he does come back. But passive aggressively, she tries to control that tangle. And then the party scene, just keep talking. If she can just keep talking, then everything's going to be OK. And then Benedict comes in, but just keep talking, everything's OK. She's still in control. Go and get him to dinner. Get him. She gets him to dinner and leaves very quickly. And then the gulling happens. And really, that's the pivotal moment where nothing will ever be the same again. But even that, she thinks that she can control in the, the morning scene before the wedding. She's still denying it to those girls. So even the love that has now been unlocked and... Um, she still thinks she can control it. And then the, the wedding scene happens. And that is something that is completely out of her control. And from then on in, this is a woman that has lost all those resources and all those things that would normally hold her together. The play is allowed to happen. Life is allowed to happen to her rather than her trying to happen to life. Today, that's how I feel. So that's an objective view of where I think she goes. Um, but what you do when you're in it, you have to allow the play to just take care of itself um, and be open to that. So, and also, it's kind of simplistic to talk about her control because, of course, there are things that knock her off course. And all the time, really, she's just trying to stay back on course. And how long can she stay on those tracks before eventually she just falls off? And I think because Shakespeare is such an amazing dramatist and an amazing playwright, there aren't very many words that are wasted that, or... There aren't very many lines that aren't worth some interrogation, a lot of interrogation, that will reveal to you either where his mind was at that time or what he is trying to unravel in, in the character. What do you say about yourself? What do other people say about you? Neither of which ever have to be fact. I mean, most people will say things about themselves and, and not really have any self-awareness and certainly things that other people say about you um, are often not true. But what you choose to believe, I think, is that's what makes up your response to the person. So things like, I was born to speak all mirth and no matter, that's revealing. Uh, Leonardo's line about, she dreams of sadness but wakes herself with laughing. I just find that, the, the unconscious of someone that is, I, I, I find there's such a sadness in Beatrice, which she has to mask with this mirth because she knows all those things she hears in the gulling scene about her contemptuous nature and her disdainful nature. She knows that about herself, which is why it's so hard to hear, because it's always the truth that hurts the most. So yeah, that's Beatrice.